Okay, so this is the folder for NAV. Okay, I'm going to, I've already installed NAV 2018, so I'm going to repeat the process for uh, 2016. Everything is completely same. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. So you run the setup file as administrator. Okay. So you accept the terms again. Uh, nobody right, reads the terms. Right. So you have two options here. You have install demo and choose an uh, installation option. So the installation of demo means that if you click this, the system will uh, uh, install all the prerequisites by itself and it will install uh, an express version of, Mark, uh, of Microsoft SQL. What it means is that uh, express version is a compact version of SQL with minimum functionality and uh, it is just for the uh, use for the purpose of uh, you know, creating a database structure in your system and uh, deploying uh, you know, an application above it. So this is going to be a very limited, uh, in terms of SQL, it's going to be very limited. But in terms of Navision, it will install uh, the Navision completely with the demo database. But if you select on choose an application uh, uh, installation option, here you have three different components. You have the client, the server, the developer. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to go to the custom and this is where uh, I can say the magic happens. Okay, so this is where you decide how you want to install your uh, Microsoft Dynamics Nav. Okay. Okay. So I'll show, I'll tell you which components are important for which uh, uh, structure. Okay. So if you are going to install the the standalone structure, you will you will install uh, the client. You will install uh, the administration tool. You will install the server you will install the SQL Server database components. So this is pretty much it. The rest of the things are additional functionalities for other purposes. So I'm just going to discuss about the things that are completely uh, bare minimum necessary for installing Microsoft Dynamics uh, now. So if you are going to have a standalone, uh, a standalone uh, installation, as I uh, said earlier, you will have these uh, uh, four components on uh, your PC uh, installed. So you'll have your client and you, you can have it run all from my computer. Okay, it will take your username, uh, the current username. And all you have to select as run all from my computer and also the SQL Server database components. Okay, so this SQL Server database component will have a demo a demo database for from Microsoft for the Cronus company. It means uh, Cronus is, uh, you know, a, ge a generic company created by Microsoft for demo purposes. So you'll, you'll find this Cronus company in Dynamics Nav, you'll find this Cronus company in uh, Dynamics AX, and so on and so forth. So this is when you're installing uh, uh, the standalone. But once you want to install as uh, a two-tier structure, so on the, C or, or, for example, you're, you're installing on uh, a, a, you know, a server which has the SQL uh, database and it has the, uh, what you call, uh, the NAV server. So the two things that you're going to install for that is, or the three things rather, you will install the administration tool, you will install the server, and you will install the SQL server components. Okay, so this is, these three components will be installed on your, uh, on your server, and this client will be installed uh, with the same installation uh, setup, it will be installed on the client user uh, user uh, PC. So who is uh, whoever is going to access the NAV server will have only this client installed on their PC. So for now, we would just we were just going to install as standalone. Okay, so we, we have selected all these components. We will just click next. Okay, so this area is where you define the parameters. Uh, server name is uh, usually your PC name or you can have it as localhost. So localhost means uh, th uh, this, uh, this server that you're working on. It will take, if, you, if this value is localhost, it will take the name of the server. Dynamix Nav 90 is the, uh, the instance name that, uh, uh, the, you know, the uh, Nav server instance. Uh, so every version has 
uh, a NAV instance. For example, uh, 2015 is Dynamics NAV 80. Uh, 2016 is Dynamics NAV 90, 2017 is Dynamics NAV 100, and the current version that you, we are running on 2018 is, is Dynamics NAV 110. Okay, so this uh, is for the uh, the NT service. Okay, you can have uh, if you can see this is the user that you assign. You can have it as the uh, the, the network service. Uh, or you can have you can specify a user here uh, that you have in your the admin user that you have in your system. Okay, so we, we we're going to keep this as is. The other thing important here is the uh, what you call the management uh, service. The, the, these are necessarily the ports that that the system uses uh, to work. So there are four important ports uh, for Dynamics Nav: uh, 7045, 7046, 7047, and 7048. Uh, it is not necessary that you keep the same ports. You can change them. You can get, uh, give them uh, any port that is not currently occupied by any other software. So you can have it uh, as you like. But these four ports, the managing, management services port, the client services port, the SOAP services port, and the OData services port are uh, necessary. Okay. So these are the settings that are uh, bare minimum for uh, the installation. The other thing that I would like to uh, address here is the credential type. So there are two credentials that uh, are important for us for now, uh, the Windows and the username. Windows credential, what it means is that if your uh, user that who is, uh, who is going to use uh, Navision has a user in the Active Directory, either in the Active Directory, or he has a user in uh, the server itself, then the system will pick, uh, pick the same credentials that you have logged in with your, in your uh, Windows account. It will pick the same credentials. It will find it either in the server or in the uh, Active Directory based on your configuration. Okay, so if you select it as username, then the system will pop a message, uh, uh, you know, a screen for entering the username and password uh, whenever. Uh, the user opens Dynamics now. So these two credentials are used for logging in. The, the third one is you can have your username and password right inside of Navision, which is uh, usually not the case. Mo mostly uh, they are managing it through uh, Active Directory. Most of the uh, clients are managing this through uh, Active Directory. So this is pretty much the important thing. The other uh, important thing I would like to address again here is the, the SQL service uh, database component. Okay, so this is the information of your uh, database. Okay, from this is the, the server name, the SQL server, okay, which uh, has the database on it. This is the instance, which uh, I will show you. Uh, let me just show you for a quick second. I open my SQL Server Management Studio. Um, so, Mohammed Hassan, can I can I ask one question? Hello. Ahmed Hassan. Yes. Yes, if I yes. want two users uh, in the same Windows, uh, they are working and they can use uh, separate uh, Windows NAV, Microsoft NAV, uh, but they are working in the same PC. For where I can make yeah. the setup. Yeah, okay. So, one second, please. I just need to show you one thing. Okay, if you can see here, this is this is how it's going to look when you once you install your uh, SQL Server. Okay, so I'll connect here. Okay, so if you can just focus with me here, this first part is my uh, server name, or whatever server, or the PC name, or the server name, whatever it is. And the second part after the backslash, this is the instance name. So this is uh, the, the nav demo instance that is installed by uh, Navision itself. Once you uh, complete this setup, it will install this name. It will install this name. 
okay and this is going to be the database this one you will have these databases created through this setup you can give it a separate name you can create a separate instance with a separate name uh, so on and so forth so this is uh, the important thing the the question that abdullah asked right now is uh, quite simple for example if on my pc i have two users who are going to use uh, microsoft dynamics now okay so i have two approaches here i can either keep the credentials from here as windows i'll keep it as windows and i will create two uh, uh, users on my pc so every user will log in from their own user okay from the windows and once they hit uh, when, once they uh, open nav it will pick the same credentials that the user logged in with or i can keep it as username okay and i will define uh, the user in the in my pc uh, the username and uh, password in my pc and it will ask every time that i need to enter the username and password for uh, my uh, windows user it will take the same username and password as my windows user uh, is it clear the lock yes yes it is clear with me yes thank you Right, so this is pretty much it. Once you hit apply, it will uh, install the, uh, the, you know, the, the Microsoft Dynamics Snap. Once, one thing you need to, uh, to keep in mind here is that, for example, if you have uh, two or three versions of uh, Microsoft Dynamics Snap on your PC, as I have currently on my PC, then you need to make sure that the ports should be unique to each version. So 7045 is already being used from, by another version of Microsoft Dynamics uh, NAP. So what I'm going to do is simply give it a separate port. I would say that I will use this series for uh, the ports. So it should be unique to each version and it should also be unique to each instance. Four, eight. Okay, so these four ports, I will just make, it, make them unique and it will uh, work perfectly fine. So once I click apply, the system will start installing. So I don't, I don't want to install again. So I will just click cancel and I will abort the, the installation. So this is pretty much regarding the installation. And another thing I need to cover here is how to add the users, have the users in Microsoft Dynamics Snap. So I'm just going to quickly open Microsoft Dynamics Snap and give you a glimpse of how you manage the users in Nav. Okay. Uh, Mohammed Hassan, uh, when you said Windows uh, user, uh, when they purchase any customer purchase the, the license, he asked for 20 user or 30 user. When two or three working the same PC, it is uh, like one user only, one license, or it is multiple license would be. Uh, uh, this this part is uh, this this should have been covered by Selva in the in the previous session, but I will answer this. Uh, in Dynamics Nav, the users when they when they say they have purchased 20 users it does not mean only 20 users can be opened in division what it means is it is concurrent license it means that only 20 users can log in at the same time so if the if the customer says that i have uh, 50 users who are going to use dynamic snap but at one time only 30 or 40 will log in so we say that you buy a concurrent license of 30 or 40 as per your requirement so once the 31 or 41 person wants to log in the system will pop a message that your license does not allow uh, this number of uh, users to log in at the same time so this is called the concurrent license this is not user specific this is session specific what it means is how many sessions can be opened at the same time understood yes yes I need to check if Selva is with us. Selva is not. Okay. Right. 
So moving on towards the users, you can, I, this is by the way, the glo global search of Dynamix Nav. This up here is the global search. You can search any uh, entity, any page, anything from uh, uh, this uh, global search. So I'm just going to search for users and open the first link. <clears throat> right, so you can see here, I currently have only my user uh, uh, created in this PC, and we'll try to create another user. We click new, and usually you can, uh, you can give a username, or you can just pick the same username that you have on your, uh, you know, on your, either on your Active Directory or on your server uh, user itself. So we're just going to click uh, these, these three dots. It's going to open this area for me. If you have uh, the username, uh, uh, if you remember the username, you can just put it here and it will search it for you. Or you can just go to advanced and find all the users that you have created on your PC. So I will, for example, take, I'll take this user. I have this user created on my PC. I will say I will pick this user, create, click OK. And you see it picked the same name. This is the server name, first of all. And you have this as the username. This hum, uh, the second part after the backslash, this is the, uh, the username. OK, so this is the server name or the PC name, whatever. And this is the username. Okay, so now this uh, will uh, this this will mean that if this person wants to log in, this user wants to log in, it will take the same password as their uh, Windows password. You would not have to uh, create a separate password for uh, entering into Microsoft Dynamics now. So the other thing, once you create a user, is assigning user permissions and user roles which is a, a very detailed session, which we will cover in the upcoming uh, sessions. So I hope it is clear as of now uh, for this session. And uh, I apologize for uh, the SQL. We're not able to install it, but we will cover this in, in upcoming sessions. Inshallah. So any, any question from uh, any of part participant side from uh, Adil? From no, no. Ahmad? Everything is clear up to now. Abdullah, you have any questions? Up to now. Okay, right. So I'm going to uh, assign you a task for today. I want you yeah. to have. I want you to create users uh, in your PC, and uh, you, I need you to assign them uh, and create them in uh, Microsoft Dynamics Nav. This is your first assignment. Uh, the second assignment is that I want you to document all the steps for uh, installing Microsoft Dynamics Nav. Okay. You can either delete the, the current version of uh, Dynamics Snap, or you can just follow uh, the video that you uh, you will you will get the recording. But I want you to, to you know create a document for me that registers all the steps for installing Microsoft Dynamics Snap. Okay. 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 Uh, assign them in Nav uh, the way we signed here. See here in. Uh, the Windows authentication. If you create it, it will be assigned to the user here. Go to the advanced. You'll find all the users that are created on your PC. It is assigned. All right, guys. Okay, right, thank you.